Hey guys, I know, I know, I said in my last video that um, it would be the last video on World of Final Fantasy, but I received so many requests and private messages asking me to make a video on how to unlock Medwin. And since we have one more day to go for Final Fantasy 15, here we are. So today we're going over the board mini game and the intervention mission, the fight Cogna Lords Figaro. This intervention has a Medwin memento as a reward if you fulfill a certain condition. The condition is, you must win within 20 turns without losing a single unit. Your turns are counted towards that 20 turns limit, and so are the enemy's turns. Since the enemies have 6 HP, you need to take out that 6 HP within 10 turns, which means you only have 4 turns in which you can move or miss. In other words, if you move twice, that gives you room to miss twice only. If you move once, you can only miss 3 times and so on. Before we go into this, please realize that this game is completely driven by luck then skill. I don't give a fuck how skilled you think you are, if the board throws the 3 monsters in the far corner or in unreachable areas, you're not going to win. If a monster decides to run away in a corner which you haven't covered, you're not going to win. If you get ambushed, and a monster hits you in the first turn, you're not going to win. By win here, I don't mean just finish the game victorious, but fulfill the conditions to unlock Medwin. Alright? So first things first, read and understand the rules. All the rules. Pay special attention to the one where it states that a monster might be right beneath you, because that could happen. Just like you, the enemy starts with 3 units, a small unit with 1 HP, a medium unit with 2 HP and a large unit with 3 HP. If you hit the small unit, it dies right away. If you hit the medium or large units, they will run away either horizontally or vertically all the way. In other words, they will escape to the other side of the board. If you don't have someone to hit them there, that's a wasted turn which eats away from the 20 turns limit. Sometimes the monster will run back to the same cell they ran away from whereas sometimes it will stay in the new area and start hitting random cells. If it decides to do the second action, you're pretty much screwed unless you have someone else in that uh, other corner to hit the monster again. To deal with these limitations properly, you need to understand how the board works. The easiest way to do this is by assigning each cell a name or a code, much like uh, an excel sheet. So let's call the columns letters from A to E and the rows numbers from 1 to 5. Since you only have 3 units, you can only cover 3 corners. If you hit a monster and decides to run into the far corner, don't panic and give up. Instead, try to find a new monster but keep track of where that medium or large unit went as the moment it tries to move again, we need to track it down and hit it again. Since it will only move into one of the other 2 corners which we should be covering already if we are using the right setup. The best way to set your units is to cover B2, D4, and either B4 or D2. While it's true that the safest option is to put the small units in A5 or E1, if a monster is on A1 and it decided to run to A5 or E1, your unit is not going to be able to hit those two cells if it's right on top of them, while it will be able to hit A5 if it's on B4 or E1 if it's on D2. The disadvantage here is that the unit is more exposed if it's in the middle and if the small unit gets hurt, that's it, you need to retry. Whereas the medium and large units can take a hit so it's fine to place them in the middle. So let's watch a match where I actually got to finish in 20 turns and I'll try to explain as we go. So let's start by putting the large unit in B2 the medium unit in D4 and the small unit I decided to go with A, uh, A5 because it was much safer. Right uh, at the start we are at the disadvantage because the enemy got an ambush. Uh, it hit on B3, that means it has to be in one of the 8 squares around it. So I decided to go with the middle square. This is completely dumb luck, it has nothing to do with skill. This part was luck. So I hit in the middle and it ran up two cells. That means it's going to be on C1. The medium unit is done for. So now we have to deal with the large and small unit. So you can see that one of the uh, two monsters hit on A3. In other words, it has to be in one of the squares around it. We tried to hit A4, 
but it got resisted. But something hit A4. So, a monster hit A3 and A4. The only two units that can reach that uh, cell must be on B3 or B4. It would make your life much easier if you have a notebook and you're writing down which cells are getting hit. Right now I know whatever is hitting A3 and A4 must be on B3 and B4 because those are the only two cells that would have access to hit both um, A3 and A4 without moving. So I made my decision um, out of safety. I'm more concerned with keeping the small unit alive so I tried to hit B4 because that's the most dangerous cell that could kill the small unit. So after I hit B4, it turns out the large unit was there and it tries to run to B1 and I was able to hit it again with the large unit and tried to go down. But if you if you remember at the start I told you that this is really all about luck. Because if the large unit tried to run towards the east and it went to E1 instead of going down B5, I would have been screwed. I couldn't have won this match uh, according to the conditions within 20 turns. So after we killed the large unit, something tried to hit A2. So I tried my luck, turns out that no, there is nothing there. But that thing managed to hit me. Uh, I did a mistake here, instead of hitting A3, I hit A2. And that almost cost me the match. I was able to recover very fast and I realized my mistake. And I hit A3 and turned out that the small unit was there and I won the game. So basically, understand the rules, cover three corners at all times, take down notes, and keep track of where monsters move. That, with some luck, and you should be able to win this. I hope this helps you understand how to overcome this mini game and unlock Madrid. For real this time guys though, this should be my last round of Final Fantasy video. Anything else will have to wait until I'm done with Final Fantasy XV. The hype is so real! Alright guys, if I helped you deal with this pain in the ass mini game, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye! から離れ、やっと昔のように私を呼んでくれたね。私の最初のショーか。マディ。どうして忘れてたんだろう。あなたをあの機会に疲れていたみたいだ。でも私を思い出した。だからこれからはまたいつでも呼ぶがいい。ありがとう。